Aquarius, welcome to your weekly reading. This is for the sign of Aquarius. It's not going to resonate with all of you out there. This is also not some lunar Venus sign specific. Any Aquarius placement you resonate with, messages may also resonate. Towards the end, we'll pull some oracles, give you a little bit more guidance for the week. Personal reading information is all linked and listed. And yeah, we're jumping right in. Your first card out is the Two of Cups. Some sort of connection that we are focusing on this week. Aquarius. Two of Cups is mutual love between two people. Two people that share mutual interests. They have the same amount of passion towards something. This is also two people choosing each other in whatever capacity. So let's see what else we have. Matters of the heart focusing this week for Aquarius. What else do you have for Aquarius, please? Beautiful energy for your first card out. It's also the strongest energy. So very much focused on some sort of connection here. Guidance for Aquarius, please. I do only take jumpers, so I appreciate your patience in advance. Aquarius. That can't be it. Okay, I see one that flipped over. We have the Knight of Wands. We have the Sun card, the Seven of Swords. Leo energy with the Sun card, Major Arcana. We also have Sag energy with the Knight of Wands. Okay, that one actually flipped over. Death card, Major Arcana for Scorpio energy. Let's do it like this. Nah, I don't like that. <laughs> I don't like it. Okay, one more card for Aquarius, please. Okay, this connection might be hidden. You might be hiding with the fact that you're in a connection or just maybe starting a connection with somebody here. The Seven of Swords, the Knight of Swords, Final Card Out, Air Sign Energy, Gemini, Libra, or an Aquarius. Could be you. Some sort of communication here. It looks like the cat's out the bag is the vibe that I'm getting. Bottom of the deck is the Five of Pentacles. That could be why you're not saying anything about this new connection. Or it could be a past connection where someone was deceptive. So, you know, you could have definitely put an end to it. Um, someone maybe was non-committal or unreliable, even though there was a mutual connection there. That both parties felt the connection, but there was definitely some sort of deception. That's one storyline that I'm getting. And it looks like there was an ending to that, but it looks like there could be a resurgence of this person or the situation with the Knight of Swords. Someone could still have something to say here. Leo season. Now, basically, before the end of Leo season, there's some sort of communication. We do have Venus in retrograde, so that would make sense. Scorpio, Leo, Sagittarius could be important. Five of Pentacles looks like someone's missing you. If you have some cut someone out, they feel left out. They will kind of want to change the situation with the energy of five here. We also have the two of Pentacles. It looks like you will not make this decision lightly, though, when this person comes back. Two twos here as well. Could be seeing twos, another two, two of wands. I think you've moved on though. If there's this was a situation that kept you in some sort of cycle, repetitive cycle, emotional roller coaster type of vibe, you've made the decision to move on and you're not looking back, is the vibe that I'm getting. You've decided to end this, you're looking on to brighter days, looking on for new partnerships and new contracts. And for another story, then I do get some of you are in a connection that you are keeping secret. You're not letting anyone know that you are in this new connection, but that is going to change soon. That is going to change. It's like someone's going to let the cat out the bag that you are with someone new. Maybe you're hiding it from a particular person, maybe someone that you've ended things with. But this connection does make you happy. It's sort of a new, I definitely get new. Some of you might have left something new and are already in something else. I mean, left something old and you're already in something new, but you're not. You haven't made it public. And it looks like somebody finds out. And they're not going to be happy about it. Somebody finds out. Three of Pentacles. Some sort of um, friend group. Work group. And for those of you where this is a past person that sort of wants to make it their way back, they do want to cooperate, they do want to fix it, work on it, but I don't think you're interested, to be honest. This person caused you way too much indecision. The situation caused you too much indecision. If it's not a connection, it's a friend group that you really liked being a part of or some sort of community that you really enjoyed being a part of. But I don't think you enjoy being a part of it anymore. Moving on to other things. But some sort of communication about this past situation before the end of Leo season. 
Three of Cups. Yeah, from some of you, it is a friend group. And for some of you, someone had too many options. So you left it alone and you found out that someone was out, the, out, out in the streets. It does look like this person might want commitment now or you could be committed elsewhere already. Whichever storyline goes for you, because I do get a couple storylines here. One main, one um, consistency though, is there is some sort of situation that you no longer want to be a part of. But that situation still is not done with you. What you do with that, that's your, important. that's your business. Some of you already have new things going on. And it's like now is the time to sort of come out with that. So that whatever from the past can sort of leave you alone. So that they can know that you're no longer available. In whatever capacity, work, friendship, relationship. We have here, meditate and contemplate, new moon in Pisces. And confidence is your key to success. So if there's some sort of secret relationship you have now, it's going to be only a matter of time before you have to be public with that. Because something from the past here is going to want to make its way back around. So now would be the time coming up soon to let them know, you know, I already got a new job or I already got a new man, new girl. Sorry. That is for Aquarius, please. If this is a romance, if this is love, what do we have for Aquarius? Lots of twos, lots of threes. Maybe from now to Scorpio season could be a significant time frame. We have here, love yourself first. Your self-respect makes me more romantically attractive, obviously, clearly. And religious factors, your love life influence is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. So if you were lacking any sort of confidence before that was keeping you in this sort of shitty situation, you no longer are lacking confidence. That's why it says this here. You now know your value, you know your worth, and you're worth more than whatever this past situation was available to give you. So you've moved on. You may already have something else that you're dealing with, but you're not making it known to the public that you're already in something new. New job, new relationship. But it's coming up here that you're going to have to make that be known soon. Because the past ain't done with you. Guidance for Aquarius, please. we have here claim your independence number 13 yeah whatever new thing you have going on is protected but this is a time to let the world know or let whoever know that you're no longer available for what they got you're taken in whatever capacity and it's, take a break a life's work not a season get off the treadmill yeah, you're done repeating a cycle. You're through with a particular cycle, but the cycle is trying not to be done with you. Okay, am I missing any oracles? Yes. What else do we have for Aquarius, please? You're done with the cycle, but it doesn't want to be done with you. Womp womp. <laughs> Guardians for Aquarius. for Aquarius please we have here you should be so proud of how far you've effing come Taurus also got this oh, I do see Taurus here so you could absolutely be dealing with the Taurus some of you might be very much happy in a new relationship very much committed to the new thing be proud that is your reading Aquarius hopefully it resonates with you thumbs me up don't forget to subscribe see you guys next week